Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Jack of All Trades. I've got an update for you today on the Buick restoration segment that we're doing on this channel. I wanted to drop in because it's been several months since our last video. Uh, you probably remember that I worked with the lifters and I did a video on the, the fuel pump and the timing chain connection. And so I wanted to do a video today so you can see where we're at. Uh, we're getting really close and a lot has changed. Anyway, uh, check it out. So my car is in the legendary calendar for this month of March. Isn't that cool? Actually, uh, that's Tim Reif's car. It's uh, a sister to mine. It looks very close. Same color, same year. Uh, it's got the sport mirrors. It's a convertible. Uh, beautiful car, though. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Tim because uh, he did a really good job getting his car in the legendary calendar for March of 2022. So, uh, this entire month, we're gonna have that up there and have it on display. Anyway, so what we have going on right now with the Buick is uh, we've, we've had the 455 out, we've been rebuilding it, we've been putting it together. It's finally in the car as of two weeks ago. All right, we got the 350 out, it's on a stand. I'm gonna get rid of it. I've got some parts that I wanna show you that I've collected for the restoration of this car. I wanna show you the exhaust that we're doing right now. And I'm excited to get into all this stuff. I wanted to shoot an update video before I put anything in the car so that you could see it before we go. So, all right, so let's check it out. All right, there she is. She's up on jack stands all around. Got the bumper lowered so I can get that very valuable GS grill out of the way. Don't want to crack that. We have the, uh, the hood up there sitting on some cardboard. Uh, I've got it jacked up so I can have the suspension droop because we have the exhaust. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. And I'll show you what I picked. But here she is, stage one spec Buick 455. And actually, this is the 7.5 liter engine. If you don't know anything about the Buicks, this is the big boy. And I'll tell you right now, it's bored 50 over. So that means that it's a 464 now. And I believe that actually means it's a 7.6 liter. So it is, it is bigger than what it started out as. The compression ratio is 10, three to one. All right, and so uh, I've got my gaskets all in here the other day from Rock Auto. Love that place. Uh, I'm gonna put the carb on. We gotta get the the um, the radiator fixed up here. I'm gonna show you, uh, I've got something planned for the radiator too. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the parts that, I was, that I've been able to acquire. All right, so what we have here is the big block fan shroud for the 455 Buick. Okay, and this is the 72, this is an original one. They're very hard to find. This part is not remade anymore. They, uh, when you look on TA Performance, they only remake the 1970 version, right? And that's the ones with the smooth sides. This one has the ribbings on there. 71 and 72 had the ribbings. That's what made them different from 70. And 72 also, because of the emissions uh, air pump that's on there, had to have that uh, specific little uh, hose strap there. 71 does not have that okay and here's what we have too i'm super excited about this okay so i already know before you guys start throwing throwing comments in the section down below this is not a 72 and my car is a 72. i wanted to point out though just how hard it is to find a relatively affordable complete dual snorkel for the gs all right so the dual snorkel that you see right here, this shape came out in 69, 70, and 71. And in 72, they changed it. The driver's side uh, little snout here was actually turned into a triangle instead of this little square uh, to accommodate some of the emission stuff that was being added to the car. So I know I have the 71, 70, 69 one right now. Maybe someday I can trade it and get a different one. However, this was a huge step to get one of these because my, because my car has never had one. All right, so here we have uh, the old exhaust. Uh, tons of holes in it, man. I tell you what, it's gonna be so nice to have it off. So these are the Walker Dynamax 18 inch mufflers. Okay, these are the ones that are really popular. Everyone talks about these on the Buick Forum. I believe they're the 17 749s. Okay, so it's two and a half inch exhaust. I got the pipes uh, cross cross section here, the X pipe. Okay, I got it kind of mocked up right now. And then pipes also supply the the uh, down pipes for my manifold. And then I went with Flowmaster tailpipes. Uh, one thing that I probably would have done differently with the tailpipes is there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with the Flowmaster ones. They're they were very affordable. I got all of the exhaust parts off of eBay. 
for for that matter. Uh, there's no down, there's no downturns on the backs of the pipes. So I did buy some aftermarket downturns. We're gonna have to see what that looks like. But uh, another pro tip here on these, on the Walker Dynamax, you can get these for half price on eBay. What you'll find is someone ordered one of these and they come with like a slight dent in them, uh, you know, or or you'll notice that like like the mouth here is bent in just a little bit and you can get a pair of pliers and bend it out. And I don't understand why people need these to be perfect. They're under the car, but some people will send them back to the factory and then they end up on eBay. So I got these, both of these are like $45. Uh, I know these sell for over $80 normally brand new. They're practically brand new. Uh, this one had a small dent in the back and then this one had, uh, like I said, the lip was bent in just a titch. It only took a little bit for me to get, to get that straightened out. All right, and last but not least, we have uh, my original Harrison radiator, right? This is the, I think it's a, a three-core radiator. Um, so this is the original. This was in, uh, this specific one was in, in the 350s and the 455s. Uh, it's blocked up. So what I want to do is I want to test and see if I can unsolder the, the actual, the driver's side tank and flush it out and rot it. And I wanna see what that involves. So expect a video to come up here soon. I'm going to patch a small hole in it and I'm gonna unsolder it, flush it out, resolder it and test it and see how it works. So that's a video in the future. But as of right now, uh, what you can expect is we'll have the engine started up here. I'm gonna do the, the actual break in of the, the cam and the uh, seating of the piston rings and we're going to get on the first the first ride and all that's going to be super exciting and stressful so uh stay tuned you can follow along with me we're going to get that done here within the next month i don't want it to get any hotter in this garage because summer's summer's picking up here and it's going to get really humid so anyway hope you enjoyed this uh hit the like and subscribe if you want to follow along and uh, let me know if you have any questions but stay tuned for the next videos Bye bye